I'm gonna sleep. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We can use more green. More green. And Get some blue. And some black. Yeah, and some black. Done! Yes. Sleeping reduces stress. Yeah, success. Seven. Slow. That seems useful. Dun, 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 dun. One blue magic, one stress. So the choral concert is tonight. Should we go? Ellen's singing, right? Hell yeah, we'll go. <laughs> yeah, but so is Donald. Is it free? Yeah, it's a school thing, so there's no tickets to buy. Excellent. Attend? We should be there to support Ellen. Okay. The concert is held in the gym. The choral ah, yeah, the choral members parade in carrying candles. And they stand on the stage holding hands while they sing. I actually forgot Donald was in the chorus. They do some Christmas carols, but also plenty of songs I've never heard. There's a the other guys in there too. Oh, and our stress one back down. And Whatever. afterwards, there are free refreshments, which makes Virginia happy. Makes everyone happy. <laughs> Only Virginia. Everybody else is like, free refreshments, man. <laughs> I wanted to pay good money. Yeah. And so my first semester of witchery school comes to a close. Professor Potsdam has called us all together for a final blessing before we go back to our parents for the holidays. The music's all sad. Well, it's not really sad, but it's all like... I don't know. I'm like, oh man, first semester's over. We've come so far, Tim. Poor Ellen. Hello, my young students. Well, we don't we don't know if she's staying this time. It's just she got a note last time to say like, hey, it's too hard, you know. The tradition of Christmas is one of giving and sharing. Most of most of you who are returning to your homes will be exchanging gifts. And spending time with families and friends. Close enough. But while you're gone, do not forget who you are. Don't forget that all all that you shared with your brothers and sisters is magic. I have a special gift for you. Ooh. Play the magic noise. A tingle of magic sweeps over us, leaving no visible change in its path. Think of those that you care about. Think of a person who matters to you. Oh man, we gotta choose? If the person you choose is thinking of you as well, you will feel that connection. That affection being shared. It sounds all kinds of kinky. <laughs> I'll leave you to your thoughts. Oh man. Oh wow, man. That's a huge list. Yeah. Parents, Ellen, Virginia, Damien, Donald, the Professor Gardner. No one. Really? <laughs> Save. You want to see these two? I just want to see Professor Gardner. Oh, okay. <laughs> just be like, yeah. you're like, we're not going with that one, but you should see what happens. Yeah, he's like, does he uh -huh. think of us? Like, that worthless little cretin. <laughs> yeah. I'll have her fingers yet. <laughs> I know it's foolish, but I think of Professor Grabner. He was the first person I met when I came to the school, even if that meeting was an embarrassing mistake on my part. He's an important figure in my life, so I think of him. Nothing happens. I'm only one of many students after all. There's no reason for him to be thinking about me. Oh. Oh, can I think oh. of multiple people? Uh, Ellen. Ellen is my roommate, fellow Wild Seed. We must share a connection. I think of Ellen, my friend. My mind, oh, the music changed. My mind reaches out into the distance and feels someone else reaching back for me like two hands meeting in the dark. Oh, she's thinking of me. Oh, maybe it goes until we find someone who's thinking of us. Or maybe you only get one or two choices. Well, I'm thinking if we thought of Damien, that probably would have happened too. Uh, yeah, you're right. So and it stops when you find one. Possibly Donald? but maybe not, because we didn't give him as much time a day as the other two. Yeah. Hell, for all you know, that could have happened with Virginia, too. Since, you know, uh, roommates and everything. Yeah, you, you woke her up. <laughs> She's like, that cost you some points, Rain. <laughs> I'm thinking of you, but not I in was, a good way. Like, 
There. <laughs> no, that then I would have sneezed. You know that whole that whole like if you sneeze it means someone's like saying bad things about you or whatever. Nah. Well, if you sneeze, what is it like three times in a row? Something like that. That Japanese thing. Uh, pr Professor Potsdam climbs back onto the stage and claps her hands. Have a happy Christmas, everyone. We'll see you in two weeks. Christmas vacation. The movie. <laughs> the movie. The movie. The game. No, no really. The movie. It's awesome. Go watch it. <laughs> Lampoon? Product placement. Back to school at last. Oh, it was such hell, Ellen. You wouldn't <laughs> believe what had to happen. <laughs> A man died. My whole family was killed by reindeer. Oh, I, I was going by the Christmas vacation movie. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, oh, Helen, it was so horrible. An old man died. No, wait. It's so terrible. There was snow everywhere. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm thinking of a different movie. Oh, Helen, it was so bad. There was fire, and, and a man with a chainsaw, and and Uncle Eddie. Oh, God, Uncle Eddie. No, it's like you just take it's... all the Christmas carols and turn them sinister. <laughs> so it's like, there was this snowman who came to life, and he started dancing around town. It was awful. <laughs> he was made of yellow snow. <laughs> and then there was this freakish reindeer with this red glowing nose like the fires of hell. And, you know, and so on. <laughs> Like, just yes. keep being like, it's not that they did anything bad, but it's that they in your brain, so like, you saw them and it was terrible. Or it was, like, the most horrifying thing and for some then, reason. Then there was this big fat man, and he watches you sleep. Well, actually, you know, you don't even have to twist the one, because you could be like, you could be like the little match girl. <laughs> she I, I just died out in the streets. Nobody cared. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> I think that's a Christmas story, anyway. <laughs> I'm thinking of, uh, you know, when you're sleeping. Oh, God. It's when you're awake. Oh, my God. What a creeper. Like, no, no, it's like, Ellen. And it, it, like, you break down crying, and it's like, what happened? <laughs> it's like, Santa's not real. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna send you. <laughs> He's only your father. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's stealing gifts, and we are giving them to the children. <laughs> I did enjoy the holidays, but lying around the house doing nothing gets boring quickly. And I'm so out of touch with the normal world now that it's hard to find anything else to do. Sounds like she'll be staying. Yep, hey. I'd stay. I missed my friends here, and I'm looking forward to seeing them again. I got new friends, and they're better because they have magic. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey Rain! <laughs> Welcome back! Hi, guys. How was your holiday? I couldn't stop thinking about your silky smooth mind hand. Other than that, it was fine. <laughs> mind hand. It was great. Look, I brought back tons of stuff. She points to her bed, which is stacked with candy boxes and tubes of store-bought cookies. Oh, she she's must have share. She must have been the one that likes sweets. I think you're right. That or like Ellen was all like, what are you trying to say with this? Me. That, should, that should last me at least a week, right? Oh see, I thought it was the other oh, way nope. around. Ellen's size. See, I thought Ellen liked the sweets, and uh, Virginia did not. But I, clearly, I had that mixed up. I completely forgot that was even a thing. So much has happened, Tim. Ellen yeah. size. <sighs> what? You're gonna get fat. Nothing. I said nothing. Come on, what? It's not fair. What's not fair? She eats nothing but bags of junk and sugar. And she's skinny as a twig. I eat healthy foods and look at... And and I look like me. Why? Oh, she ain't, was worried about being fat. Ain't nothing bad, honey. <laughs> you look just fine to me. She's it's got all the right places. She's got curves. Oh. <laughs> the same reason my hair is red and yours is that yellow color. I'm just born that way. Ellen blows a strand of loose hair out of her face. I could dye it. It would grow back again. There's nothing wrong with you. You don't have to eat salad all the time. But I like salad. Then don't worry about it. Virginia stretches her arms over her head and yawns. Anyway, I've got stuff to put away, so I'll talk to you guys some more later. 
I'll steal your candy when you're not looking. Don't forget that the, there's a test at the end of this week. Maybe if you'd stop stealing my candy, Ellen, you wouldn't be such a cow. I'm a horse. <laughs> no, nobody's that mean. Ellen's not really fat. I, don't, I didn't even know she was fat. Yeah, so I mean, I'm like, I don't think Ellen's fat. Maybe she is just like, damn it, Virginia, look how skinny you are. Yeah, like, I gotta be conscious of that shit. I, I think she's just too cautious. Or conscious. It's like you know, Kyle. Like his, a woman. Well, it's like Kyle and his ridiculous metabolism. Well, I have ridiculous metabolism. Not as oh, good yeah. as his, but still. Well, I'm just saying, like, you guys. Psh. Yeah. I mean, I don't watch what I eat or anything, but I'm like, man, you guys. Your metabolism's yeah. insane. Um... <laughs> We're on, we have overclocked hours. It's not genetics. What should I do this week? Well, our stress is zero, so no sleeping for us. Spend time with Ellen. <laughs> actually, we could use some green. It's actually the lowest one now. Yeah. Green and red and blue and white. And study? Sure, that sounds like a plan. Alright. Done! Success! Success! Gained one stress! Rain? Ah, it's him. I turned to see a familiar face. Right. Damien, hi! It's good to see you. I'm glad you came back. No, did I inadvertently read my name? Yes. My bad. Of course I came back. Not everyone does. Well, they're losers. Um. Did you have a nice holiday? It's all right. You? The sacrifice was more splendid. <laughs> well, it's it was it, well it was pretty quiet, with almost everyone gone. Oh, did he stay? He would have to. I thought they just straight up emptied the school over Christmas. They can't so. because some students can't go home. Oh. Okay. Or don't want to go home because. Okay. Of the problem that you're having now. Oh yeah, okay. You stayed here. See, she's she's just as surprised as me. Oh. Well, then you're both stupid. <laughs> yes. Well, it's appropriate. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. No, it's all right. Christmas doesn't mean the same thing to me as it does to you. It's your holiday, your time with your family. You should enjoy it. What about your family? What family? It's like, oh, them? <laughs> I'd rather not talk about that. Sorry. Oh, I have something to show you. I made you a present. It's not much, but I wanted to give you something you could keep. Hold out your hands. I cut my palms in front of me and he lays his hands over mine, placing something small and hard there before pulling away to let me see. A flower? Not a real flower, but the shape of a flower, only a few inches long, made out of some hard substance. It's stone? Oh, he turned the, uh... He turned the game into the into a flower. Maybe. Advanced black magic. By the time you're a senior, you'll be able to sculpt details even smaller. Thanks, I should have gotten you something. You already did. You're here. Oh. Smile face. Not creepy at all. Giggle. <laughs> or the I may do emoticons. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a chuckle. <laughs> that is. I can't giggle. I don't know how to giggle, Tim. You're a man. <laughs> Maybe men just can't giggle. I'm sure I've giggled before. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I should go. I'll see you later. That was appropriately sappy and sweet. All right, success. He just wants to be in your pants. Crush. Force pushes in, uh, in around the target from all sides, causing damage. Oh, that's brutal. Yes. Go for the oh. windpipe. It's like we're trying to implode them or something. No, that's the uh, Darth Vader or Sith Lord, whatever it's called, choke cold grab thing. Teleport self. Yeah, baby. So wait, you learn teleport other than yourself? Yep. That's backwards. Maybe it's easier to move objects instead of you. Or maybe it's safer to learn that way first. 
<laughs> Oops, sorry, only teleported your arm. Uh, it's like, whoops, sorry, I left my kidney over there. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> you know? <laughs>